Welcome back everybody. We've just found the big cats. Amazing. <laughs> so uh, definitely uh, not moved too far from all accounts from this morning. Looks like they are out for the count, but it is World Lion Day today, so I was just saying, you don't usually have the animal whose day it is <laughs> on uh, Safari Live. <laughs> the animals always seem to know and they seem to just disappear on that day. So absolutely fantastic. And a thanks very much to Tristan because he actually found them this morning. He'd been tracking them uh, yesterday only to find that they'd gone on to Torchwood. But this morning they made it back this side for us. So uh, definitely well done to Tristan his tracking skills. Now I was just uh, saying to Seb, has he seen the clip of the mouse running into the Unkahuma female? <laughs> and then I said, oh, I'll save it for when we're live. So have you seen it? Um, which <laughs> clip? The mouse running into? So we had the Unkahuma pride yeah. on the road and one of the females was sleeping and literally out of the bush a mouse runs straight into her. Oh, wow. <laughs> she jumps up, not knowing what on earth's gone on. And the mouse obviously backtracks very quickly, but she then glared at us thinking that we'd thrown something at her. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yeah, nice. yeah, you'll have to check it out, so yes. it is amazing. For sure, for sure. <laughs> so funny. And they were, it was literally just like this. They were all just passed out first thing in the morning. And like we say, Cats might be flat, but something can happen. And to be fair, I hadn't thought that could happen, <laughs> but it did just prove the point. Anything is possible in the bush. Now we've got uh, a few flies around this afternoon. I've been battling with them a little bit and it looks like this female's battling with them. Now I think this is the female, I think um, Seb saw that she's got the hole. Uh, I think Tristan saw this morning. Uh, it could be she got on the wrong side of a horn. So that could be why maybe the flies are bothering her a little bit more than maybe the other lions. But if she gets irritated enough, she might just get up and move. <laughs> and of course those whiskers are sensory organs. <laughs> Nice one, Derek. Lions having a lion on Lion Day. <laughs> Couldn't have phrased it better myself. But obviously those whiskers, very important for letting the cat know where it can and can't put its head. Just like your cat at home. They're usually about the same length as the width of their body. So if they've got the whiskers somewhere and they're touching, the chances are it's not going to be able to fit. Although I think domestic cats don't always listen to that advice from the whiskers. Yeah, lots of ears twitching and lots of tails twitching. So I believe you guys have caught up with a buffalo at the dam. And I think Tristan's right, I think they are possibly following the buffalo. So as the sun sets, these cats might start hunting this evening. Because their bellies don't look full. Looks like they could do with a meal. But obviously conserving their energy is the best action at this stage. So they're not hungry enough to go hunting during the hot temperatures of the day. An aerial good afternoon to you also wanting to know how often they do hunt. So if they hunt a buffalo, pride this size, it might last a couple of days maybe. There's quite a few mouths there. And then they will literally gorge themselves and have huge bellies that you look like you want to take a pin to them and pop like a balloon. And they will digest that for another few days and then they'll start hunting again. So they have to take in on average 
It would be about seven kilos of meat a day for an adult lion. But as I say, they can take it all in one sitting and it will digest over the course of a few days. So as I say, it will average out to about seven kilos. That's usually for quite a big male. Probably for a female, you're looking maybe about five, four or five kilos. And apparently a male could take in 40 kilos in one sitting. That's quite, quite a feat. 40 kilos of meat. But that is a big male lion. Hi, Brian. Brian wanting to know how many hours a day a lion can sleep. When they full and there's no reason to move, they could sleep up to 22 hours a day because they're just busy digesting that food. But if they hungry and they haven't eaten for a while, then they might be a lot more active Especially if they're very hungry, then they they probably more likely to go out and about searching for food, creating opportunities to feed. So they won't be sleeping for as long. Kate, welcome on board. Kate wanting to know if uh, if the animals become habituated to the vehicles, will that not make them more susceptible to hunting? Now, hunting herbivores, because if it's the hunting of herbivores, uh, hunting by people. Okay. copy that. So hunting by people. Um, so there are reserves in South Africa where hunting is not allowed at all and this is one of them. So the animals here have no fear uh, of people actually getting a permit and shooting them. Um, but there are other reserves where uh, animals will be hunted and they will learn very quickly to um, avoid the vehicles. Now what was really amazing is uh, in my old reserve we actually had to dart the lions and the lionesses there were super intelligent. I mean I've never seen lions so intelligent and the one female watched everything and they learnt that the vet would use a particular vehicle so they would learn to run away from that particular vehicle. The, the game viewers, that's fine, but this one particular vehicle they ran away from. So we thought, okay, well, we'll outwit them. So we took the vet uh, in a different vehicle and uh, they were sat with us in the game vehicle, all nice and relaxed. We'd watch them throughout the night so we knew where they were in the morning so the vet could get, get uh, the right lion or lioness and literally, as this vehicle pulled up, the one female looked at the person and realised it was the vet. I'm sure she did because she looked behind her, looked at the vehicle again and ran off. And the other, the other females were kind of looking at her going, well, what's wrong? Well, what's the story? <laughs> but they ran after her because she scarpered. So, uh, yes, they, they do know what's going on. And they, I think he, I think he had his um, dart gun at the ready, and I think it was that stance that she uh, she had clocked. So yes, very intelligent.